Now, folks on the Big Island are already seeing some impacts from the storm, from power outages to flights being canceled. Nikki Shenfeld joins us live from the Hawaii County Emergency Operations Center with more. Hi, Nikki. Good evening, Jill. Yeah, it's been pretty mellow throughout the day today. I would say we were seeing some rainfall with some wind for about 15 minutes or so, and then it would be quiet for about 45 minutes, and then it would pick up again. But now it's been pretty consistent like this for since about the 4 o'clock hour and more rain is expected throughout the night about 10 to 12 inches could accumulate total by the time Hone is out of the way so Hilo residents are prepared for these types of storms they're no stranger to preparing for these so we have seen sandbags that have been put up in those typically flood prone areas but the winds could start to get heavy and we've already seen multiple power outages small ones throughout the windward side at last check about 4,200 customers were without power throughout Windward Big Island. So officials here at the EOC are hoping everybody took those that whole entire week to prepare to make sure that their hurricane kits and any storm kits were all stocked up and ready to go. And we could be seeing other outages throughout the evening. But I did talk with Mayor and the Civil Defense Administrator, and here's what they had to say had to close some beach parks, actually all the beach parks from Lapahoehoe all the way to Whittington and Kau, high surf, uh, and a lot of things like that. We canceled bus routes. It's going to get more frequent, and so we're asking people, probably a good idea to hunker in tonight. Uh, if you uh, aren't prepared for power outages, maybe prepare, get some candles and things like that. I'm hoping everybody's listening and then kind of understanding the seriousness of this. Roads will be closed, we'll lose power in areas and stuff like that. It's not a time to be out. And also around 3 this afternoon, Hawaiian Airlines canceled all flights to and from Hilo due to Hone. And this was an extremely busy day over at Hilo Airport because hundreds if not thousands of people were actually leaving from the World Sprints paddling races. So this morning when we got here, the airport was packed with people leaving. And then this afternoon, once those flights were canceled, there were a lot of people who were, who were stuck trying to figure out where to go, what to do, and a lot of them rushed over to the southwest side. And at that time, Southwest was taking passengers on a 5 o'clock flight to Honolulu. However, we did find out around the 5 o'clock hour that all flights leaving Hilo were canceled by the Department of Transportation. So they are urging people to check with their flights or their airlines before they head over to Hilo Airport. And here's a little bit about who we spoke to earlier who were trying to get back home over to Kauai this afternoon. We've been here for two too weeks. Long. Yeah, two weeks too long. <laughs> we're excited to go home and our flight got canceled. <laughs> What flight were you on? We're on the 3 o'clock to Oahu and then to Koi. It was a possibility, but we were hoping we had <laughs> better chances. Crossing our fingers. But, you know, it is what it is. We can either wait till Monday or we can go to Kona and fly out today, possibly. And multiple shelters are open across Hawaii Island. We have a full list on our website, but just a reminder that if you are going to one of the shelters, they are only providing the lo location. You will have to bring your own food, water, bedding, and other supplies. But again, we'll have all that information on our website. And again, if you don't need to be out on the roads, stay at home, especially if you live over on this Hilo side. We'll follow up with everything else that's going to be happening throughout the next few hours for the 9 and 10 o'clock hour. For now, from Hilo, Nikki Schoenfeld, KH12 News, back to you. All right, Nikki, thanks so much for that report. Well, Hawaiian Electric says thousands of people were without power across the Big Island today, but none of the outages were a result of a public safety power shutoff. HIKO says it has dozens of crew on Oahu, Maui, and the Big Island to monitor the conditions and look out for any fire risks. It is not yet determined if shutoffs will be needed, but customers should be ready for possible outages if they live in a high-risk wildfire area.